in the class we should declare variables for all the widgets we're interested in talking to. Uh, I'm not really interested in talking to the buttons, they're going to talk to my code. Uh, however, I will need to refer to the text view, which was called text view one, and was of type text view, and also the about box, which was called about dialog one, and was of type about dialog. To avoid the compiler complaining about the fact that we will be using variables which haven't been assigned, let's assign uh, an appropriate sensible default which will keep it a little quieter. The next job is to sort out the signal handlers. We need to implement methods that are suitable to act as signal handlers which means they need the right signature. To work out the right parameter list probably the best place to go is the documentation. At go-mono.com slash docs we get the documentation for the whole of the Mono project. GTK Sharp can be found under the GNOME Libraries subsection. Uh, there's a combination of libraries which make up GTK Sharp. Um, specifically here we're going to be looking at GTK and here we can find documentation on all the types available uh, under the Manage GTK wrapper. When you set up signals in Glade they're listed by the class that introduced them and in the case of the response signal for the about dialog that was listed as being introduced by the dialog class so we'll skip about dialog as that won't list it and we'll go straight down to the dialog class here it is and if we have a look at the events available the response event says that it's of type response handler which says that it needs two arguments one of type object one of type response args and we can go through the same process for any other signals we need to handle Armed with this information, we can now set up the declarations for our signal handlers. I'll just paste them in here to save all the tedious typing. And then we can implement these methods and fill in whatever we want to fill in. Let's have the first button make a change to the text view and write into its buffer, modifying the text saying something not very interesting. The second button however is going to launch the about box so this is slightly more interesting. The code to do it looks like this. We again create the XML object which is going to again read from the Glade file. Uh, this time it's going to start constructing widgets from about dialog one and then we're going to tell it to auto wire up the event handler here and the uh, object reference here. So once that's done, we run the dialog, and then when the user decides to respond to the dialog, we simply say about dialog onehide Job done. So let's find out if that works. Let's um well let's build it, but first of all, let's take into account one potential issue that we get, particularly when running on non-Windows platforms with the project template as it stands. There is in the Solution Explorer a set of references to all of the GTK Sharp assemblies. Um, all of these have been set to be copy local. Now on Linux this causes a problem because we end up with the assembly copied local but not the config file for the assembly which is sitting next to the real assembly in the global assembly cache. So best if we set all of the copy local values to false to avoid that problem. There we go, six of them done. Now we should be able to build the project. There. Just before we test this out on uh, running on Linux, so let's make an aesthetic improvement. I'm going to add in a reference to an image file, which should be tucked away here somewhere. There we go. Um, add in a reference to that and specify that it should be copied into the executable directory. So we've got an image file and the exe sitting side by side. And we'll add in an extra line in here which says just before we launch the dialog um, we'll assign to the logo property a new GDK pixel buffer object and we'll pass into that as a constructor parameter the name of the file. Rebuild that, see if that still works. Okay, now we can test this out running on Linux. Okay, here we are on Linux. Let's just change into the appropriate directory and then launch the application. There we go. Very simple little application. 
which writes into the text view and launches a handsomely coloured dialog, including a prefab credits box. There we go. Um, we'll also find if we uh, run this on the Mac or Windows, it will also run quite successfully. GTK Plus and therefore GTK Sharp represent good cross-platform value for money with regards to graphical toolkits.